The Harris Walls campaign using every last minute before polls close to mobilize supporters and reach every undecided voter they can. Now, when this campaign started roughly three months ago, they saw themselves as the underdog. But in this last week of campaigning, Harris and her surrogates are projecting more confidence that they will win. Still, they are not taking any state or any voter for granted. Staff at campaign headquarters in Wilmington, Delaware, spending Tuesday tracking turnout in critical swing states and distributing resources in places where voter attendance isn't yet where they want it to be. After four stops in Pennsylvania Monday, Vice President Harris spending Election Day here in Washington. Calling into an Atlanta radio station this morning, she had this message for voters in the swing state of Georgia, where Democrats narrowly won in 2020. Today is voting day and people need to get out and be active. The polls close at 7 p.m. Mm. Mm-hmm. And so we want to encourage everyone in Georgia to get out and vote. Running mate Tim Walls squeezing in one more campaign stop in the capital of Battleground, Pennsylvania this afternoon. How about Pennsylvania win this for America? Walls and his family then heading south to join Harris in Washington, where they hope to make history. Throughout her campaign, Harris hasn't spent much time emphasizing the fact that she could become the first woman president and the first woman of color but did say this this morning. To go back tonight to Howard University, my beloved alma mater, and be able to hopefully, you know, recognize this day for what it is, is really, it's full circle for me. Naturally, there's a lot of excitement built up around tonight, but a campaign source tells me they're fully prepared for the potential that we might not know the final results of some swing states like Pennsylvania until tomorrow or maybe even later. In Washington, I'm Atrell Nishar.